Barry also addressed Deshaun Watson and where he is um, during his offseason rehab uh, and, and the offseason during his rehab in the offseason program. We have a regular cadence, regular uh, checkpoints, Tom. Um, you know, this this week, you know, Deshaun was was thrown up to, to 40 yards like he's 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 in a pretty good spot um, again. Like I don't want to put the was it the the cart in front of the horse. Thank you. Um, but he's he's progressing, you know, as appropriate. Um, we're really really pleased with the work that he's put in, and really pleased with how the shoulder's responding. Um, you know, but we're we're still in the middle of a rehab process, so um, we know that it can take you know different you know left and right turns. But we're we're pretty optimistic in terms of what we've seen so far. Yeah, and Quincy, that's the thing. Nobody, no quarterback has come back from that injury. That's the scary part. The good thing is Deshaun Watson is is doing all the things that they want him to do. Yeah, and, and there's just not a history of a ton of quarterbacks who have had that injury, right? It's kind of like ACL tears where it seemed like the boogeyman injury for a while, but medicals and, and time and, and experience kind of caught up to that to where it's something that we expect players to come back from on a consistent basis now, right? Um, so we'll see what happens with Deshaun and his rehab progress. You know, it, you just want to see him go through the steps in the offseason. And as long as we get to the second week of camp and he's throwing the ball, like if he can do joint practices, I I don't think he's going to play in the preseason because why at this point, right? He's already knocked the rust off. Like this isn't like 2022 or something where he hasn't played in a while. So I don't expect him to play in the preseason, but you do want him to be out there in camp very often. Um, and you want him to at least towards the end of camp, not feel like he's on a passing restriction because what you don't want to do if you're the Cleveland Browns is rush this and end up with the running back that you have to have on the pitch count and a quarterback that you have to have on a pitch count. So you got to be careful. They're going to play this thing conservatively. They're going to do this so that they can be um, at full go to start the season because they need both of those guys, Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson, to be able to kind of carry a full load or at least one of them to carry a full load come the start of September. 